Hi, George here. In the past, I've shown you where you can find custom brush sets that you can use inside of Photoshop Elements. And my favorite source for that is DeviantArt. But this time around, let me show you how you can make your own custom brushes and save those as custom brush sets. Let's switch over to Photoshop Elements. And this is actually really easy to do, but there are a few tricks that make it even easier. We'll start off with a brand new file. I'll go up here to File, come down to New, Blank File. And I'll put this at the default Photoshop Elements size. It's a 6x4 at 300 pixels per inch. Choose OK. You want a white canvas. Now, to use brushes, you want a black brush on a white canvas. And then Photoshop Elements goes in and changes the color of the black part to whatever you want, and the white part just ends up being clear. So black on white. You can make a brush just by clicking in and making a pattern if you want to. I mean, this can make an interesting brush right there. Or you can do anything else you feel like. It's really up to you. And you also can make brushes from grabbing graphics. Let's go over here to our graphics. And let's just find something kind of interesting or unusual here. Maybe that one right there. Let's put that in. This could be a brush if you wanted it. Here's a cat brush. Now this kind of brush is better if you're actually brushing with it, like you're painting with it. These are better used as stamps. But they still can work as brushes. Now when you get your images down here, you want to then get these into their own files. Let's take this one here. I'll leave that little spot and that spot out but I'll grab the rectangular marquee tool, I'll come up here someplace. I'll just pull a marquee right around those, back over here to layers, and under our background layer right there, and then edit, copy, and then go up to file, and new file, blank file, and this should be set at clipboard right there. And I'll call this one spots, choose okay. Here's our new file. We've already copied this, we'll go up here to edit, and then paste, and then paste that onto that image. So there we are. Now this is a floating window because I have floating windows set up in my copy here of Photoshop Elements. For that, go up to Edit, come down to Preferences, General. And there's that checkbox right there, Allow Floating Documents in Advanced Mode. Just make sure that's checked and you can then do this. We can now save this out as a brush. Go up to Edit, come down to Define Brush. It takes the name of your file, Spots1, choose OK. We've now saved that as a brush. Now that's only part of the process. Let's get these two done first. We'll then come back and finish this off. Okay, I'll go back over here to this file. That's our shape right here. I need to have these on the white background for this to work. So I'm going to go here to the shape layer, right click, and let's merge down. That comes onto the white background. Okay, go up here to the cat layer, right click, merge down. So they're now on that white background. That's good. Let's now take our marquee tool here and make a marquee right around that. Same thing, edit, copy. File New, Blank File. It should say Clipboard there. Choose OK. It's a floating window. Edit and Paste. And there's that one right here. Let's just rename this one. And I'll put it right here. I'll call it Starburst. So that has a name. Go back over here to this file. Control D to deselect. And the same thing. I'll just make a rectangular marquee right around the cat. Edit and Copy or the Control C keyboard shortcut. File New, Blank File, I'll call this one Cat, and OK. There it is, and then Edit, Paste, and it pastes the cat on there. So we have our three images. Let's now save this out as a brush. Go up to Edit, Define Brush, and Save. Over here, Edit, Define Brush, and Save. Now let's go to the brushes over here. Grab your brush tool, come down below here. Here's our brushes. And this is the default brush set. If I scroll clear to the bottom, here are those three new brushes. That's the spots brush back here. There's the starburst, and here's the cat. Let's just get these out of our way. So we'll do the spots first. And let's deselect. And if I tap on here, there's that brush painted from that brush. Or I can use it as a brush, like here, just kind of brush stroke thing. Let's go down here, and same thing. There is that starburst. Just a tap. There's a starburst, or again, you can paint with that if you want to. And same thing for the cat. There's a cat, and there's the cat coming in as a stamp. So we have all these brushes in our default brush set. We now want to save these out in their own brush set. And here's how you do that. Over here, click on those three dots. In here, you can save the individual brushes if you want to. Let's save the cat brush. I'll do save brush, and OK. And so that just copies it in here. I can then change that. So it just saves it into the same brush set. But what we want is to save all of these things as a new set. So I'll click on these three dots. This time, come down here where it says Save Brushes. 
and I'll save it right here. I'll call this one custom, custom brushes, and give it a number here, number one. It says it is an ABR file. This is the Adobe Brush file. Choose save, and that's now saved as an Adobe Brush. You can get back to that by going to your brushes, come down here again, click on this, hit those three dots, come down to load brushes, and then find where you saved it. I put this into my projects file, and it's right here, custom brushes ABR. Now you won't be seeing this icon when you do it. Right now I just finished doing my new training course for Affinity Photo, and at the moment I had the ABR linked over to that file format, so it's showing the Affinity Photo. Remember you see an Adobe icon right here, but exact same thing. Okay, choose load, and we've now loaded in that brush set over here. At the very bottom of the list, custom brushes. Now we can get back to that. I'm going to close down Photoshop Elements, and I'll open it up again. I'm not going to bother saving this mess here. Just close that out. Won't save that. Close all these things. We're done with all these. There we go. I'll close Photoshop Elements, bring it right back up again. Here we go. Let's go up to File, make a new file. And again, I'll do the default Photoshop Elements file size. Choose OK. There's a little glitch I've been seeing recently in Photoshop Elements 2024. It's coming in as kind of a small window. No big deal. That only happens if you have floating documents active. Notice that it still has retained the last brush I used. So go to our brushes, come down here. You're showing default brushes again. You want to see our new brushes. Notice that they're not showing in the list here. You have to open those up again. Go over here, come down to load brushes, choose your brush set, choose load. And there we go, custom brushes. And I found sometimes you may have to do it a couple of times before it will actually load those in. So if you don't see it when you first try that, just hit reset brushes and then do load brushes. And it should show up for you at that point. You scroll down, there's our new brushes. Now, if you want to clean this up so it only has your new brushes in it, you can click on a brush, right click and delete that brush and choose OK. And you can then go through here and delete everything else. Delete brush and just clean the whole brush set out until all you have left are just your custom brushes. It may take you a few minutes to do this. There are a lot of brushes in here. But once you've done this, you'll then be left with a brush set that has just your custom brushes in it right down here. But don't forget to go back and save that brush set again if you make any changes in here. Go up here to the three dots, come down to Save Brushes, and save it on top of the same brush set. So it overwrites that brush set. Choose Save. Make sure you click on Yes for Replace. And that's now been saved. If you want to find out more about how to use Photoshop Elements, the best way to learn this program is with my complete training course. I have a link for that in the description. If you already know how to use Photoshop Elements, but you want to have a good resource to continue learning and advancing your knowledge of Photoshop Elements, the best tool for that is my Photo Coach for Photoshop Elements, and I have a link for that in the description as well. Also, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe if you haven't already done so, and I'll see you next time.